Hey everyone, thank you for tuning back into Sluis Investigate. In this episode, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I wanted you guys to get a better picture of who Earl W. Cox Jr. is. Recently, there's been a major breakthrough in the Angie Hausman case involving his DNA. Please let me know what your thoughts and theories are on this new information, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Earl Webster Cox Jr. was born on July 17, 1957, to Louise Mosier and Earl Cox Sr. near St. Louis, Missouri. His father died in September of 1969 at the age of 41 when Earl was 12 years old. It is unclear what his father died of. Earl went to Fairview Junior High and was a part of the yearbook staff and was also on the junior varsity baseball team in high school. He graduated from Jennings High School in 1975 and shortly after joined the Air Force that same year. He was eventually stationed in Rhine, Maine, Germany. Sometime in 1982, he was court-martialed for assault and child molestation against at least four girls under the age of 16 in 1981. He was sentenced to serve eight years in Fort Leavenworth and was dishonorably discharged. Earl only served three of his eight-year sentence and was placed on federal parole. According to some news articles, three years later, he transferred his parole supervision to the state of Missouri. According to records, he either stayed or visited at the 3400 block of Wisemer Road in St. Anne. Some census information showed he had ties to other homes around the area. Two of these homes were less than two miles from where Angie Hausman was last seen and not far from the school districts in that area. In October of 1989, Earl was a suspect of a sexual abuse case against two minor females at Mork Jacobs Park. He was charged and arrested with those offenses, but the charges were later dropped. Due to violating his parole, it was revoked and Earl was sent back to Fort Leavenworth Prison. In December of 1992, he was released and went back to the St. Anne area in Missouri. Earl also lived in Colorado Springs for some time. It is unclear why he was living in Colorado and if he was working or not. On January 10, 2003, he was arrested by the FBI at a bus stop in Pueblo, Colorado while waiting for a 14-year-old girl from Virginia he had mailed $60 to. In 2002, he was emailing back and forth with this girl about her moving to Colorado to be his sex slave. Interestingly, the 14-year-old was actually an FBI undercover agent who had been tipped off by officials from the United Kingdom about an extreme child porn website known as the Shadows Brotherhood. This website surfaced in 1997. It turns out Earl was the ringleader and administrator of the Panty Raiders and Lolita's Lovers group. His account name was Wizard. This site had an online chat feature and it was found out that Cox joked about giving his godchild crotchless panties. Please take note after hearing this, his DNA was found on Angie Hausman's underwear. Many sadistic child abusers were arrested in the UK, the United States, Germany, the Netherlands, and in Canada. During the trial, it was noted Earl had 45,000 images and content on his computer. He stated during trial that, quote, my only means of relief was the internet. My primary reason for being there was the friendships I made, end quote. Earl was sentenced to 10 years in a federal prison. During the trial, he asked the judge for a lighter sentence because the government would have to pay a lot in his medical expenses due to a fall he had, which gave him a staph infection. It was never granted. In 2011, Earl was coming up on his release. A team of skilled doctors completed a peer review and stated he had no mental or moral compass or empathy for his victims, and they stated he was a sexually dangerous human and he would more than likely reoffend. In 2002, it was ordered he would be criminally confined under the Adam Walsh Act and has been incarcerated ever since in North Carolina. In November of 2013, Earl tried to appeal his confinement, but it was never approved. On June 4, 2019, an arrest warrant was issued after DNA found in the Angie Hausman case matched exactly to Earl. It is a possibility he may have more victims in other states and could possibly have an associate in the Angie Hausman case. In the upcoming weeks, Earl will be extradited back to Missouri, where justice will prevail for Angie Marie Hausman. 